Hey, what is going on guys? It's Jamie G back here again. Thanks very much for joining me in today's video. And if you are new here, my name's Jamie. I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online, Facebook ads, pretty much all things digital. So if that's of interest to yourself, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm putting out. Today, what I'm covering is a very small crash course on how to use the Facebook audience insights to better hone into your target market and start building your audience. Um, so if you haven't uh, accessed this before, it's a pretty nifty little tool. And uh, to do so, just click on the little three buttons up here, all tools under the business manager, and you're gonna be able to access it up here. Righty, so now this is uh, just having a look at uh, arthritis today. It's just um, a doing a bit of research for uh, one of my clients. They sell an arthritis product which is uh, absolutely amazing if you're interested. It's, I'll leave a link below perhaps. But um, anyway, what do we got? So uh, target audience, you really want to start with one country only. And uh, the, the quality of the data from the United States is going to be a lot better than the other countries just purely because that's where the bulk of the, the research comes from. Obviously, you, you well, hopefully everyone's familiar with the, uh, the scandals relating to the uh, third-party data, all that sort of stuff. They have removed a lot of that, and obviously, as a result, they've removed a lot of the targeting options. But as, a, as advertisers, we can still get some really good quali quality information based off uh, some of the information that they do already have on the users in Facebook that they provide. So anyway, a little disclaimer before I move forward, anyone that's looking at just running local ads to... Uh, you know, say if you're a real estate agent or an accountant or, or dentist, anything like that, you probably don't need to worry about any of this stuff because in reality, there's a lot easier ways to, to go about your targeting. But this is for if you're selling a product like an e-commerce product or a digital product or something that you're wanting to expand upon your branding uh, to have perhaps a, a wider audience, then this would be absolutely ideal. Now, basically what we're looking for is, uh, I guess, little nuggets of gold amongst the audiences. So um, obviously you've got the uh, location. Like I say, you do want to stick to one country, but you can actually go deeper into, say, city or state, for example. I personally leave all this open for the time being. There's no point uh, looking at just women or just men, you know, aged Age, uh, ages at um, any specific ages at this stage um, and obviously you got connections whether they're connected to your page or not um, advanced blah 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 language etc etc education don't know why that's popping up um, none of this is really relevant at the moment so the only one I'm interested in is having a look at interest funnily enough now all I'm going to do is just put in arthritis arthritis a winner there you go it comes up how cool is that uh, okay, arthritis awareness. Okay, no surprises there. It's skewed to the older demographic. Here's where it gets really interesting, though. Already, we've got something. So, first of all, we've got 10 to 15 million monthly active people. So, obviously, arthritis affects a, a incredibly large segment of the population. Uh, what we're looking at here is 78% women that are searching for this, that, that are uh, have an interest, that are, have displayed some sort of I guess, affinity with arthritis in some way, and 22% men. Now, having said that, where it gets really interesting is, is that 78%, are they looking solely for themselves, or is it perhaps their husband suffers for, from it and he's too stubborn to do anything about it? You know, like, at this stage, we still don't necessarily know what's going to be a, a buyer's demographic, where it's going to, whether it's going to be women or men. So whilst I would probably be more inclined to click uh, and segment woman only simply by doing this. It's not to say that you should completely discount men because you might find that they are the ones that actually make the purchases. It's just, it's just something that you probably need to test. But here we go. We're starting, starting to get some really in interesting information here. So obviously, uh, women uh, above 25 actually interesting that people 18 to 24 even even have any affinity to that at all it's quite quite fascinating but uh, needless to say the big chunk of our data or chunk of our um users come from uh the 65 plus no surprises there you start getting into some inf interesting data up here whether they're married that's another one uh quite interesting so then you can um actually come down here relationship status what do we got let's go married because clearly you know it's uh 
the big chunk of the data, uh, chunk of the audience comes from that. Let's see how that affects the audience. Okay, so we've dropped that right down. So already we've just gone women that are married. Um, so that's now a segment of the uh, audience. So because most of them are retired, this stuff, the job title doesn't really matter so much. Uh, but as you can see, admin and management seem to be the, the big winners in terms of iron sales as well. Seem to be the big winners uh, amongst the uh, the former job title, the current job titles perhaps. So what you can do here is start having a look at page likes and having a look at this will show what they're actually into. So what are they looking at? What type of stuff they, they do? Um, basically uh, give it a kind of broad overview of, of what they actually do in their life. So... But here's the thing, nothing here uh, resonates for me. I'm not seeing anything that basically says, oh, you know, I love arthritis.com or you know, something like that. There's nothing there. So I probably wouldn't even delve into this at all. So what we can do is just um, basically put this aside for the time being and just have a look at another one. So I'm just going to get rid of married. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of, uh, just go for all. See if we can skew these numbers a bit differently next time. Get rid of that, and I'm just going to go arthritis. If I can spell arthritis, uh, and let's have a look at um, maybe this one, arthritis society. I'll give you a little hint. If you see anything that says something like uh, society, or um, I guess association, anything like that, it means people have a, a very strong affinity with the particular topic that you're looking at, yeah? Um, and uh, what you can do from here is have a look at, oh, I see, brilliant, there we go, page likes. So very small audience, so you take this with a grain of salt because it's um, these are prob probably people that are, arthritis is affecting a big chunk of their life in some way, whether it's themselves or a loved one. So it means that the, the people are, it's very heavily involved in their life. And what that means is that, as marketers, when we put an ad up relating to the topic that they're most passionate about, or not passionate necessarily, but the most, you know, it has such an impact on their life uh, at this stage of their life, then they're more likely to click. And I'll show you something else. Um, so basically what I would do here, I'm going to go back to demographics in a moment, but before I do, I would just click, right click here, and then open up a whole bunch of these and new tabs. Um, Arthritis Foundation, Creaky Joints, that's perfect open that up in a new tab, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And basically what I would be looking at is the relevance of these pages and these likes, all that sort of stuff to our core audience. So are they actually related to arthritis? So for example, the Mayo Clinic, is that really related to arthritis or is it just because it's healthcare in general? Um, what else we got? Homestead and Survival. Was that really related to arthritis or is it just you know, happens to be uh, part of that. Now, here's where it gets really cool and it gives us a whole bunch of extra things we can start looking at. Alrighty. Now, affinity, this is the big one here. So obviously we're t uh, targeting or having a look at arthritis society. So it means that the affinity is going to be super high. It means that an affinity, by the way, is the likelihood of people uh, in this audience to like a given page compared to everyone else on Facebook. And, and the relevance of this is that if you start showing ads that are related to this particular core niche that you're going after, a core industry or whatever, then they're more likely to click on an ad and take an action after they've clicked on that ad. So to give an idea, these these are absolutely amazing, by the way, because uh, to give an idea, I would normally be looking at an affinity of uh, 16 plus uh, um, as, as good. Um, you know, anywhere higher than that, I can, I'm starting to get kind of happy. So if you can imagine that 18,991, I am super happy. Like that is an amazingly targeted audience. So it's worth in these situations to go see more and, uh, just have a look down some of these audience sizes. We want these to be really, uh, quite large, ideally. Da, 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 da. Okay. Chronic pain. Maybe that's something that's, uh, relevant. Uh, but you don't look like, but you don't look sick here. Yeah, okay. That's an interesting one. Uh, but as you can see, these numbers are huge. Uh, like I say, I'd be, I mean, I, I'd be quite happy with, uh, 16. Um, so sometimes if I can get 60, I think I'm on to a winner. <laughs> so you can imagine that 10,000s and 8,000s, all that sort of stuff's really good. So cool. Now we're starting to get somewhere, but here's the other problem. This audience is tiny. We can't do anything 
with an audience that's only three to five, three and a half thousand uh, active people monthly. So what we'd then do is start to look at um, the, whoa, sorry guys, had a bit of a breakdown in the background. I'm not sure I can hear that metal clanging. Um, anyway, I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. Uh, right. So what we can also stack it with something else. So let's have another, another look at what else we got here. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis foundation. There we go. Let's see what that comes up with. Boom, there we go. So in an ideal world, if you're looking at uh, targeting, you probably want to go uh, 500,000 plus in terms of your overall uh, audience size. I would suggest maybe even larger, depends what you're actually looking at doing. Uh, but even hopefully 500,000 plus is, is a pretty good starter. But here we start getting some really interesting stuff here. Uh, like the likes, although none of these really stand out to me at all <laughs> but that's okay because now we're starting to get an audience that's uh, decent and, and as you can see i mean these uh, the affinity levels dropped massively so again what i'd do right click and then i'd go have a bit of an explore through that page is it relevant and then i'd start looking at these individually as well so i'd be like okay well uh what happens when i chuck in an interest for uh, rheumatoidarthritis.net for example what what interests are they looking at when they're on there what's their demo demographic looking like uh what's their psychographics which is uh their actual overall activity so what are they doing where where are they are they shopping online like what what are they looking at all that sort of stuff that's uh, more the psychographic stuff there um and here we go we've got okay so only 14 percent men so what we're going to do is have a look at women only because it's a big chunk of our audience uh and there you go bang big outlier up here 40 percent is so plus plus 65 so what i'd be inclined to do is start split, split testing from the 45 uh year old plus uh and what i mean by that is i'd put it as a um an ad set that might be like 45 to 50 50 to 55 55 to 60 and so on and so forth just to find what the best performing ad set is and uh, have a look down but again this is kind of irrelevant because i'm likely to be retired by that stage um yeah so i mean if i was happy with this I, i've gone through the process i've had a look at a whole bunch of other pages i've stacked them all up here i've built my audience up to minimum of half a mil uh hopefully bigger you, you probably don't want to go too big you don't want an audience to say 10 mil sort of defeats the purpose otherwise you want to try and make it like i say 500 starting up to sort of uh, one to two mil, something like that. Uh, and then you can always expand on there with lookalike audiences, things like that. But um, that's it. If I was happy with this, all I'd do is go save um, or save as. And uh, that's it. And then basically I can then use that as a saved audience in my ad account. And I can just collect that and go, okay, cool. Well, now I know that this is, you know, people that are uh, interested in or have some express something towards arthritis in this case that, are, that the audience is three to 350 to 400 K. So just to keep it even, what I'll do is just expand this out a little bit. Uh, what do I say? Arthritis. Uh, let's go for, what do we got? Let's go for research, arthritis research. Okay. That does nothing to my audience whatsoever. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, what else? Let's check something else in there. Arthritis. Okay. This goes UK. It's not even remotely relevant. Arthritis. What do we got up here? What else are you going to, did I spell that correctly? Can I hardly even see. Arth Arthritis. Um, let's try that one. National Institute of Arthritis. Okay. It's not really changing the, um, the size of it. So let's just, uh, open this up, see what happens. See what, uh, there we go. Yeah. So, so not much difference really, but having said that this is just one audience. Yeah. So what I would be inclined to do, like I say, is save this. I would test this audience just that on its own, I would then look to split test that. So obviously the, the big chunky data or chunky audiences in the 65 plus area, I'd be inclined to add a split test, just testing that uh, particular demographic and see how it goes compared to the 55 to 64, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, I come through this process quite long winded. I won't deny that. Um, and this is just a very basic crash course on how to use it. Uh, but the other thing you can do as well is just keep repeating this process. So you can even just go 
you know, one interest might be Arthritis Society and then another one might be uh, National Institute of, Institute of Arthritis and then Arthritis Foundation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you just go through and create new ones, new audiences based on that and then see which one resonates best with your audience and your ads. So that's it. Um, the other thing you can do as well is start having a look on Google for anything related to a magazine related to your interests. Now, obviously, there's probably not going to be that many people that buy Arthritis Weekly or whatever, but having said that, you might be surprised. There might be some sort of publication that they subscribe to, and when you come back into Facebook, it turns out you've hit an absolute gold nugget with people that are you know basically they, they love this topic whatever it is so anyway it gives you kind of a rough idea and uh, like i say it was just meant to be a little bit of a, a crash course on how to use the audience insight section so like i say in order to uh basically do anything with this just need to click on save and uh we can just change save whatever we want there so let's just go arthritis now i personally look to try and um make it relevant so to, so that way when i'm picking an ad, a, a uh, sorry an audience out of my my list when i'm creating the actual ad i know what i'm looking at so in this one i haven't changed the um changed the demographics at all 1865 plus it's uh male plus female if i'm not mistaken and what else do we have there it was uh us traffic only and I, sometimes i put the audience size as well so it was about 400k roughly yeah give or take. So then I'll just save that nice and easy. And that way that's going to pop up when I'm creating my ads. So that's it. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys got some value out of that. And uh, if you did, feel free to hit the like button or leave a comment. Let me know if you've got any tips yourself. If there's anything you do when you're creating your ads or when you're going through this type of stuff. And uh, if you want to see more of this, feel free to smash that subscribe button. My name's Jamie G. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.